Now, there are a couple of vehicles here that are probably what you're not going to be driving every day. Uh, back behind me here, this is a county plow truck and you can't really get much of a sense of a scale of how big this is, but the side plow, this is way over my head. Like, I can't even reach the top of this plow. That's how big this thing is. And it doesn't run on gasoline and it doesn't run on diesel. So this is a county of Dane, Wisconsin. Highway department, of course. This is running on 3,600 PSI compressed natural gas. Uh, so last I checked at a retail level, compressed natural gas was about the equivalent of $2 per gallon. That's less than half as expensive as just regular old gasoline. Uh, so clearly there's a big savings in uh, the fuel expense, but also it burns cleaner. But holy cow, look at the size of this vehicle. So clearly it's also got to be able to produce the power because this plow is freaking ginormous. I mean, it's just huge, just ridiculous how big this thing is, just a monster. So I know a lot of times we're talking about electric vehicles. Um, compressed natural gas isn't my favorite in that it's still a fossil fuel, but uh, definitely a major reduction compared to gasoline or diesel. When I got back home later, I double checked, and this is indeed the Freightliner 114 SD or Severe Duty natural gas truck. Take a look at Freightliner's webpage. There's a bunch of information on this truck, uh, the specs, some brochures, and even some videos about natural gas fueling. There's also a bunch of information about the real world cost of ownership, not just the uh, much less expensive fuel, but also the decreased maintenance and the increased uptime. Now this certainly isn't the type of vehicle I'd be driving every day, but uh, by learning a little bit more about it, hopefully we can be a positive influence on state and local governments uh, to encourage the use of alternative fuels. Mm -hmm.